Are you looking for the best Creality 3D printers? In this video we will look at some of the 6 best Creality 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1, Ender 3v3 Say. The Ender 3v3 Say is the latest version of the popular 3D printer line. It carries on the legacy of being an affordable and beginner friendly machine, but now with more features. To kick things off, the Ender 3v3 Say has two lead screws on the Z axis and a linear rail motion system for the Y axis. These make the printer sturdy and reliable, essential for producing high quality prints. The well tested Sprite Direct Extruder also ships with the V3 Say. It works well with flexible filaments as well as common ones like PLA, ABS and PETC. The V3 says maximum print speed of 250 mm per second is a notable feature. You can 3D print a Benchy in less than 30 minutes, which is faster than most printers in the same price range. Additionally, Creality has made the automatic bed leveling process better by adding a strain gauge sensor and a CR touch probe. You no longer have to fiddle with setting the Z offset, the printer does it all. Aside from its wordy name, there's not much to complain about with the Ender 3 V3 Say. Creality has packed a lot of features into this printer for only $199. As we found in our Ender 3 V3 Say review, the machine is easy to set up and even easier to use. More importantly, it produces 3D prints of consistent quality in the most popular filaments. Number 2, Creality K1. With a top speed of 600 mm per second, the Creality K1 is the fastest Creality 3D printer right now. As a relatively affordable option, it competes well with machines from Bambi Lab and similar companies. Thanks to its Corksy motion system, the K1 can print at high speeds without sacrificing much print quality. The printer's Corksy structure offers a more lightweight experience. So the frame stays stable even when the print head is moving very quickly. The Creality K1 comes with a completely new extruder and hot end setup. This set comes with a pancake stepper motor and a dual gear direct drive extruder. A powerful 60 watts ceramic heater heats the hot end up to 200 degrees Celsius in just 35 seconds. Impressively fast by any standard. In our testing of the Creality K1, we were able to print a 3D Benchy in under 20 minutes without print defects. Another thing that impressed us about it was how supportive the triple lead screw design is, especially compared to the Ender 5 S1. With its cantilevered print bed, the K1 provides a much stabler surface to 3D print on. The K1's automatic bed leveling and effective cooling system were other major selling points. They are a necessity when 3D printing at high speeds, and Creality has made sure to include them. That said, there are still things that can be improved in the Creality K1. For example, its filament path and corksy component placement. The filament can get too constrained at certain points in the print area. The corksy components, on the other hand, are not positioned ideally and are slightly off axis. There's a lot of good stuff in the K1 for $500. However, its fast printing speeds come in handy for rapid prototyping projects, and its filament compatibility is excellent. If you're in the market for a premium speed 3D printer, it is a fantastic option. And if its print volume is not enough for you, there's always the K1 Max. Number 3. Find Creality CRM4. The CRM4 deserves attention from anybody considering 3D printing for large scale models or industrial prototypes. At 450 by 450 by 470, it has a massive build space that makes 3D printers like the Ender 3 series look puny in comparison. There are perks to creating big models in one piece with this huge build size. Swords, cosplay parts, tall vases, enclosures, the CRM4 can probably print them in one go. No gluing or post printing assembly necessary. To increase stiffness, the CRM4 uses two lead screws on the Z axis, two linear rails on the Y axis, as well as diagonal stabilizing rods on its frame. Collectively, 
These parts make the printer incredibly stable and reduce banding or Z wobble issues. The M4 also has a 25 point automatic bed leveling system that makes it easy to level the big bed. In the testing of our CRM4 review, we were pleased with the initial layers and the precision of the leveling. We also noticed that the M4 made a lot of noise, making it less ideal if you want to work in the same room. Taking everything into account, we can say that the CRM4 is an excellent large format 3D printer. Few large 3D printers this size cost less than $1,000 and have the same features and durability. The CRM4 is a good choice for anybody in the market for a large 3D printer, whether it's for professional use, hobbyist use, or as part of a 3D print farm. Number 4. Find Ender 3S1 Pro. It's been a year since Creality's S1 series came on the market. The Ender 3S1 Pro is currently the top of the line printer in the Ender 3 series. It's also one of the best all around printers that Creality makes. The machine comes with the standard Ender 3 form factor and a build area of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters. The combination of the Sprite Pro Direct Extruder, the all-metal hot end, and high temperature print bed mean that you can use the S1 Pro to tackle all kinds of filaments. Filaments like ABS or PC. The S1 Pro's luxury features, such as its LED light bar, language compatibility, and touch screen, are useful as well. They make using the machine that much easier. One of the few problems we encountered in our Creality S1 Pro testing was that its fans make a lot of noise. It's not a deal breaker, however, and even something you could address yourself with upgrades. Long story short, if you need a qualitative, well-built 3D printer, the Ender 3 S1 Pro is one to seriously consider. If its features seem a bit too much for you, you can also check out the rest of the S1 line in our Ender 3 S1 vs S1 Plus vs S1 Plus comparison. Number 5. Find Halot Mage PRO8K. Creality's Halot Mage Pro stands out as the most premium offering from Creality in the resin department. It's large, well constructed and comes with a lot of advanced features for the price. It boasts a remarkable maximum 170 mm per hour printing speed. Realistically, however, you should be able to print around 100 to 130 mm per hour. Still faster than most other best resin printers. Other than speed, Creality has focused on the LCD screen as well. The Halot Mage Pro uses an 8K LCD screen for its 228 by 128 by 213 build size. This gives you an XE resolution of 0.029 mm which is a lot better than the 0.050 mm range of most resin printers. The result is crisper and clearer 3D prints that display many more fine details. Creality has also included a smart resin pump, a first in its resin printers. While the implementation and operation of the pump are not as developed as we would have liked, we appreciate Creality experimenting in this direction. The 180 degree top flip lid and USB ports on the front are two other minor features that we like. These are small things that make using the Mage Pro 8K a better experience. However, the dual cooling fans on the Creality Mage Pro printer are noisy, and the small exhaust hose included in the box is not practically usable. The Mage Pro costs $500 so it's not an inexpensive resin 3D printer. It is, however, a good option for users who need a generous print volume for their resin prints without compromising on quality and features. Number 6. Find Creality CR30. The CR30, better known as Creality's conveyor belt 3D printer, is one of the most unique products in the company's lineup. You can technically print infinitely on it without ever having to stop. All thanks to its conveyor belt system. Its print surface is a continuous loop, all thanks to its conveyor belt system. The conveyor belt moves the printed object away from the print head, making room for the next layer to be added, resulting in a limitless printing experience. This innovative design makes the CR30 an ideal choice for producing long or multiple identical objects without the need for manual intervention. 
setting it apart from traditional 3D printers. You can print any model on the CR30 as long as it's less than 200 by 170 mm on the XI axis. This means that 3D printing swords, big costume parts, body shells, lots of small toys, and furniture are all within reach. There is no need to break down the models into smaller pieces or weight between prints. The CR30 can handle it all, saving you a lot of time. Other than that, it's similar to most other Creality printers of its generation. The frame has V-slot extrusions, and there is also a dual gear bowed an extruder, a filament sensor, and a bed platform that can be adjusted with springs. The CR30 has remained the same since it came out in 2020, though. The knob display is outdated, the 3D printer does not have cloud connectivity, and the extruder is not up to mark in terms of modern features when compared to current Creality printers. Compared to other belt 3D printers, however, the CR30 still scores very well. For around $700, you'll have a workhorse that lets you break through the barriers of traditional 3D printing.